Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Alkanes. What is an alkane? Alkanes are the simplest hydrocarbon compounds and are commonly found in crude oil. Hydrocarbon compounds are made up of hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms. Alkanes are only made of these types of atoms, these bonded together. To understand the basics of how these bond together, please do watch our Geology in a Jiffy video about hydrocarbons. From that video, we also know that hydrogen needs one friend to make it be stable, so we use this handy model. We also know that carbon needs four friends to make it be stable, so we use this handy model. From these models we have two key ideas, that hydrogen needs one friend and carbon needs four friends. How can we use this info to build an alkane? From our hydrocarbons video we know how to build the simplest hydrocarbon, but this is actually the simplest alkane too. If we take one carbon atom and bond it with four hydrogen atoms, we make this molecule, the simplest alkane, called methane. The formula for methane is CH4 as it consists of one carbon atom bonded with four hydrogen atoms. As in our other video, we can model this like a jigsaw. And remembering our key idea, if we take one carbon jigsaw piece and four hydrogen jigsaw pieces, we can then take our central carbon piece and add one, two, three, and four hydrogen pieces around the carbon, making methane. If we then remove the jigsaw outline, we are left with one carbon and four hydrogens, giving us the formula CH4, helping us draw this ball and stick model and the structural diagram too. That's amazing! How can we build the next alkane? Remember, use our two key ideas to help do this, the handy models and the jigsaw model. The next most complex alkane is called ethane. We know that methane has one carbon atom, so ethane must have two carbon atoms or jigsaw pieces. Using our handy model, we can then add the hydrogen jigsaw pieces, so giving us this ball and stick model, which is shown structurally like this. What is the formula for ethane? We know ethane has two carbon atoms, so how could we work out how many hydrogen atoms there are in it? We could simply count, going round clockwise, giving us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hydrogen atoms so giving the formula for ethane as C2H6. Wow! The next most complex alkane is called propane. Propane has three carbon atoms, so three jigsaw pieces. This then gives us this jigsaw model and this ball and stick and structural models. But what is the formula for propane? Stop! We do not have to bother counting each individual hydrogen atom. We can use the formula. We know that for every one carbon atom, there are two, or a pair, of hydrogen atoms. For example, let's look at propane again. If we remove the end hydrogens, we can see that each carbon atom has a hydrogen atom above and below it. So one carbon matches two hydrogens, this for each of the carbon atoms. But do not forget the ends of the molecule. We have one hydrogen at each end of the molecule, giving us two more hydrogens to add on. So, for every one carbon atom, there are two hydrogen atoms and two hydrogens at the end. For every one carbon atom, there are two hydrogen atoms and two hydrogens at the end. This is a formula, so we highlight it because it is important, as it is the formula to work out the number of atoms in an alkane. That's amazing! So what is the formula for propane? Using our alkane formula of CnH2n plus 2, and knowing that propane has three carbon atoms in it and has this structural diagram, we now know that the formula for propane is C3H8. What is the next alkane? Butane is the next alkane, as shown by these models. We can see there are four carbon atoms, so using our formula, if there are four carbon atoms, two times four makes eight hydrogen atoms, plus the two hydrogen atoms at the ends, makes a total of 10 hydrogen atoms giving us the formula for butane as C4H10. What is the next alkane? This shape is a pentagon and has five sides. 
pentane is the next most complex alkane, as shown by these models. Using the formula, we can work out that the formula for pentane is C5H12. In summary, alkanes are the simplest group of hydrocarbon compounds, as they are made up of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. As the alkane molecule gets longer, we add an extra CH2. The alkanes form a homologous series because they have the same formula to work out the atoms, i.e. CnH2n plus 2, and they show a variation in properties as the molecules get longer. For example, their boiling points increase as the molecules get longer. We say that alkanes are saturated as they have the maximum number of hydrogen atoms on them due to the carbon-carbon single bonds. Time for the quiz! What is the formula for decane with 10 carbon atoms? Using the formula, the formula for decane is C10H22. Well done! Please do look out for Geology in a Jiffy films about hydrocarbons, alkenes and alkynes. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!